Hi everybody, Fred here from PLCGurus.net. So you're now following along in our Factory Talk Activation Essentials video series. And in the first video we went through and we walked through how to go ahead and download the Activation Server software and how I typically would set up an Activation Server on an on-premise Windows Server machine or some dedicated type uh, PC that is gonna be used or utilized as your Rockwell license activation server for your various client PCs on, the, on your production floor. So you'll know that I am running inside a virtual machine, which again, if you haven't watched the first video, do do that. And we are in the Factory Talk server VM that is currently running a Windows 10 professional uh, operating system. Okay, so, what we want to do today is we want to go ahead and get new activations that are sitting up on the Rockwell server. So this is the licenses that come with your software when you purchase purchase products from Rockwell, such as Studio 5000, Factory Talk View MESE, um, Lynx, uh, any Rockwell software software that you purchase is going to come with an activation in that coveted red envelope that tells you not to dispose of it. And I'll throw an image up here so you can see that. It'll typically be in the CD case that comes with your newly purchased software. So the process is fairly straightforward. So what you wanna do is go to good, get new activations and you're gonna to wanna to pull out the, uh, the serial number and the product key that was on that red envelope that I was showing you previously. So obviously I'm gonna blur the serial number and product key out because that's sensitive information. You don't wanna give this out to people um, because, well, for obvious reasons really. So this will be blurred. And so I'm just gonna type it in very quickly and try not to make a mistake. And then the product key as well. And then once it's satisfied, you see that the validate activation button illuminated, and we're gonna go ahead and validate that activation. And it's gonna tell us that we do have one available to download. Uh, it gives us a description of the software, the product version, and the binding. I mean, again, we can change the binding. For this computer, it's gonna to bind to the disk. And then if we scroll over a little bit more, you can see the destination is this computer and it gives you the serial information and the type of license concurrent. So you wanna make sure that your license is concurrent because that means it, it, it is basically consumable by client computers on your network. So you want a concurrent license if this license is going to be hosted on an activation server and other clients in your facility are gonna be consuming that license from the activation server. So then what you will do, you'll just download the activation and it'll install it on the server here and you'll be all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video and get all my activations up on this computer, on this activation server, I should say, and then we're good to go. Okay, so once you're done activating all of your licenses and pulling them down from the activation server, the Rockwell activation server, using the method we just walked through for all of them, uh, you should be able to head on over to find available activations. And if your activations are not showing up here like mine are, you'll just hit this refresh activations button and it should show up. You may have to hit it a couple of times. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit finicky but eventually they will all show up there like that. So I think that's enough for this video. So in the next video, we'll carry on with our discussions of how to configure, set up, and implement and deploy Factory Talk activation licenses to client uh, devices in the field. Okay, so I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.